What's up, good people? Christian Allaire here. Welcome to your YouTube channel for Power Yoga. I bring you yet another video today. Power Vinyasa is my jam. I'm a veteran turned yogi. I am based out of here in Salt Lake City and really, really stoked to do this flow. It's been a couple of weeks, maybe closer to three weeks since I actually uploaded a video. I had some microphone issues, so I got a new mic. I'm gonna give it a whirl today and see how it turns out. Wonderful to be with you. I'm gonna ask you to come into the pose of the child on the mat in child's pose. Let's do this. Here we go. Bring the knees nice and wide. Let the forehead come down. Let the forearms touch the floor. And as always, if you need an extra few here, minutes, moments, seconds, what have you, to get your block and strap settled, get some hydration. And if you need a little extra time on child's pose, please feel free to pause the video and catch up with us as we move forward today. Start to fire up that constriction of the throat, a little ujjayi breath, inhale. And exhale. Deep inhale. And exhale. Breathe in. And breathe out. Let's bring your hands towards your heels, palms facing up. Rest in child's pose with a little different configuration on the arms. Send the hands back out in front of you. We'll walk the hands to the right side. Keep your left hip on top of the left heel. Feel the bend in the rib cage here. Stretching on left, compression on the right. Walk through center, hands to the left. Hands back to the center. We're going to do three scorpion up dog positions. So you want to come into almost like a modified tabletop and then we make chaturanga arms and as you do the toes come off the floor and they come together and then you create the shape of upward dog and a little bit of a scorpion position with the feet coming in shoulders come back you pull the chest through and then we press back to the pose of the child first one might be clunky as we warm up we're back in the pose of the child scorpion up dog number two Pitch it forward, make chaturanga arms, and then it's an upward facing position, keeping the feet coming towards the back of the head. Child's pose, release, release, release. Third one, scorpion up dog. Bring it forward, lift it up, arch the spine, maybe look up towards the sky. Child's pose. Downward facing dog fingers nice and wide, hips come towards the sky, and then feel free to pedal out your feet here, back and forth. A little bit of motion here in your dog pose. Push the floor away. Start to pedal out the feet a little bit here. Lots of good ujjayi breathing in and out, in and out. Through the nose, through the nose. And then from your still downward facing dog, keep melting the heart towards the back of the mat. If you can float the 10 toes up off the floor, please do so. You wanna wrap the triceps in towards one another, let the head be loose. Keeping the belly to the spine, a little bit of tugging of belly to spine, ragdoll back of the mat. Hands to feet, capture the elbows, drop the head low. Feel free to stay here or sway side to side. Keep your feet planted to where the ankles are directly underneath the hip points, so and we're going to round up to mountain pose. 
And when you get to the top, we're gonna do some shoulder shrugs. Take it forward towards the eardrums and then back, one, forward towards the eardrums and then back, third time, forward then towards the eardrums, drop it back, reverse the direction. Back towards the eardrums and forward. Number two, bring it up. Number three, bring it up. And now send the arms to the sky for mountain pose. Extend the arms up above the head, reach up, reach up. Exhale, fold in. Keep the knees nice and soft on your descent. When the hands come to the floor, take a halfway lift and lengthen. Breathe in, butt back, crown forward. Exhale, fold. Two more. Inhale, lengthen. You want to keep the balls of the feet into the floor versus gripping the toes, and then fold in. Third round. Halfway lift. Breathe in. Exhale, fold. Top of a plank. Walk the hands to the top of your mat. Shoulders over wrists, toes directly underneath the heels. Push the floor away. Belly to spine. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in, and breathe out. Now third round of breath, bring it in, and on the exhale, just drop the knees down, you're in tabletop. Let's run through some cat-cow tilts. Breathe in, look up. Cat pose, pull in through the belly button, hollow out the spine, push the floor away. Inhale, change, breathe in. Exhale, round hollow, chin chest. One more set, breathe in. And we're gonna come to cat pose, round hollow, chin to the chest, chin to the chest, here we are. Spine to neutral. Just walk your knees back slightly, slightly, so they're not underneath the hips. And then we're gonna come into a, a modified chaturanga. So you're gonna bend the elbows, bring the chin and the chest towards the floor. Keep the tailbone high in the air, high in the air, and then Cobra pose, drag the belly button forward. We root down through the toenails, lift up through the heart center. Breathe in and relax, chin to the floor. Child's pose, push it back, relax the belly between the thighs, forehead down. Bring the hands towards the heels, wisdom pose. Send the arms out in front of you. Walk the hands to the right side. See if you can get a little more depth. Maybe the hands come right off the mat onto the floor. Hands through the center. Walk it to the left. Hands through the center. And from here, we're gonna come right into Upward Facing Dog. Drag the belly button forward. And as you do, root down through the toenails. Upward Facing Dog. Pull the heart center through, look up. Let's move to Downward Facing Dog. Take the hips back and up. Start to pedal, pedal out the feet, move it around. Travel forward ragdoll, top of the mat. Feet are split, hands to elbows, stay static or sway side to side. Wrap your hands behind the skull. Draw the chin towards the chest. Elbows come towards the eardrums, tuck the chin. Release, round up mountain pose. Send the arms above the head, big old reach. Extend up, big breath in, push through the feet, reach to the fingertips, breathe in, forward fold, breathe out. When the hands touch the floor, take a halfway lift, maybe hands to shins, breathe in. Exhale, fold, breathe out. Step back, top of a plank, breathe in. Exhale, chaturanga, breathe out. Inhale to upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog, breathe out. 
Send the right leg up. Let's open up the right hip. Circles with the right knee and ankle. Re-extend the right leg. Bring the knee to the chest. Round and dome the spine. Step forward. Let's move into a pyramid pose. Shift the hips back. Fold. You want to keep your feet in a, in a distance to where you're in the crescent lunge style leg. So when we do release out of this pose, that you bend right back into that nice runner's lunge. So stay here for another five, another four, three, two. Rebend into runner's lunge. Keep the left hand down, right arm sky, easy twist. Right hand sets down to the floor. Step forward, left foot to the right, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Feet are together and we rise to mountain. Breathe in. Exhale, fold. Breathe out. Inhale, lift. Exhale, top of a plank. Breathe in. Exhale, chaturanga. Breathe out. Take the breath up, dog. Exhale to down, face dog. Breathe out. Left leg up, hip splits. Open up the left hip. Circles with the knee and ankle. Square the shoulders. Re-extend left leg. Bring the knee to the nose. Round and dome. Step it through. Plant the left foot. And pyramid pose. Shift the hips back. Bend back into the left leg. Send the left arm up, easy twist. Left hand to the floor. Let's step it to up, right to left. Halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, mountain pose, breathe in. Exhale, fold, breathe out. Take a chair pose, sit down, raise the arms. Draw the shoulder heads back, rock the weight into the heels, float the tent, toes off the mat. Take a full breath in, birdie pose. Send the hands behind. You can remain where the feet are flat or you could raise the heels, totally up to you. Back to chair pose, one breath in. Exhale, fold forward, lift the hips, hands to the mat. Halfway lift, step or jump, chaturanga, low plank. Inhale to upward facing. Exhale to downward facing. Take the right leg up. Let's open up the right hip. Re-extend the right leg. Step forward, right foot. Pyramid pose, shift it back. Easy twist, dip back into the right leg. Take the right arm up, breathe in. Exhale, right hand to the mat. Step forward, left foot to the right, halfway. Lift and lift. Chin to the chest, fold. Rise, mountain. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, birdie. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing. Take it to down dog and raise the left leg. Open the hip. Step through, left foot. Pyramid, shift it back. Rebend. Easy twist, left arm. Exhale, left hand down. Step forward, halfway lift. Bow in, yogis. Rise up, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, birdie. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. 
come to down dog and we're gonna move right to our first float forward. So rise to the toes, bend your knees, look forward, float it up. Land, inhale, lift, fold, chair pose, birdie pose, staff pose, lift your right knee. Hug the right knee into the rib cage. Interlace two inches below the right knee to do so. Birdie pose, land the right toes, send the arms back. Other side, left knee lifts. Grip onto the knee, hug it into the chest. Birdie pose, left foot plants. Arcing Tadasana, stand up. Exhale, fold, breathe out. Now here, take a lift, left foot back, runner's lunge. Easy twist, right arm extends. Easy twist, take your right arm behind you, come into horizon lunge where you spin to the outside of your left foot, you're reaching towards the back of the mat. Runner's lunge, we come back forward, frame the foot, down dog, empty out. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, low. Inhale to upward facing. Come to down dog, empty out. Come to the toe mound, rise. Bend the knees, float it forward. Land, halfway lift. Exhale, full. Chair pose. Birdie. Staff, right knee. Hug it in. Birdie. Staff pose, left knee. Hug it in. Birdie. Arcing Tadasana, take it into a back bend. That's what arcing Tadasana is. Fold forward, hands to the floor. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right foot back, runner's lunge. Inhale, left arm, easy twist. Extend your left arm towards the back of the mat. Horizon lunge. Come to the outside of the foot. Notice the left toes are facing forward. Back leg is nice and strong. And I'm letting my hip dip down. Back to runner's lunge, frame it up. Down dog, left the core, let the core do the work. Breathe out. High plank, breathe in. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down dog. Take the right leg up, open the hip. Flip the dog. Make sure your left arm is nice and stacked underneath the shoulder. Just open up the heart space to the ceiling there. Three-legged dog, right hand down. Right leg forward, runners. From here, easy twist, take the right arm up. Now from here, you're gonna take your right hand back, horizon, and from here, we're gonna come back forward. Extend your right arm forward. So left hand down, right arm is forward. Power lunge, take the hands back behind you. Cover the torso right off the thigh. High lunge. Keep the right knee bent, send the arms up. Square off to the front. Relax the shoulders. Fire up through the back leg. You want to try to get the left heel to face up as you dip into the right knee. From this position in one, a in one action, we straighten the right leg and you twist to the right. So I didn't do it in one action for demonstration purposes and because I have trouble doing it. But you want to still try to keep the left heel up and you're pushing through the right foot. From here, we come to warrior two. So you bend back into the leg, the arms circle up and around. You're into your warrior two. Look over the fingertip. Sink into the right knee. So relax into the right knee, but really track into the outer edge of the left foot. Bring the arms above your head, reach up. 
Left hand captures the right wrist. Reach up and then reverse your warrior. Side angle lunge, forearm thigh and left arm over. From here we come into star pose. We stand up, toes are out, heels are in. Take a big old reach up sky and goddess pose. Come down, drop into your goddess pose. Hands are in the insides of the thighs, at least for me. So let my hips open up a little bit. Now we're gonna do two sets of twisting. Breathe in and then twist to the back of the mat. Come back to the center on the intake of air. Twist forward. Back center, breathe in. Twist back of the mat. Bring it back to the center. One more time, come forward. Now from here, we come right back to star pose. Stand it up, arms over the head, and then back to warrior two. Facing forward, right knee dips. One breath to reverse the warrior. And on the exhale, chaturanga, hands down, high to low plank, please. Inhale, upward facing. Down dog, move it out. Left leg sky. Open the hip. Flip your dog. Take it over. Three-legged dog. Left leg should be in the sky. Step through. Left foot. Easy twist, left arm. Horizon lunge, we start to extend the left hand behind you. We dip it down. Runner's lunge, we come back to the front, frame up the foot. Frame up the foot, left arm is extending forward. Then from here, we come into power lunge. Take the hands behind you. Crown forward, let's try to keep the left rib cage floating off the left thigh. High lunge, bring it up, reach. One action, straighten out the left leg, twist left. Really, you're trying to root down as evenly as you can through your left foot, all the while getting the right heel to come up off the mat. Scissor into center line, and then turn left. Three, two, warrior two, we come back into the knee, and we spin it open. Separate between the feet, heel to arch, or heel to heel, look left. Relax the shoulders, we'll pull the belly in to scoop the tailbone underneath. Bring the arms above the skull, reach. Right hand to left wrist, let's stretch it up and reverse the warrior. Take it back, take it back. Take it back a little more. Side angle lunge. Right arm extends over, turn the chest up towards the sky. One action, star pose. We stand it up, toes are out, heels are in. We extend up through the arms, and as we come into goddess squat, you're gonna sweep the right arm underneath the leg, underneath the right, so you're in that eagle-like pose here. Squat it down. Inhale, arms up, exhale to the right. Come back through the center and change arms Extend out and then left arm sweeps underneath, all while keeping that goddess squat. Inhale, elbows up, go left. Coming back through the center, we start out. Arms up, breathe in. Warrior two, face forward. Inhale to reverse the warrior. Now from here, I'm gonna offer up a chin stand. Or you come right into chaturanga. And come to chin stand, draw the feet back, lift up, feet together, point the toes. Upward facing dog, exhale, down dog, breathe out. Beautiful work, knees to the floor for a nice little child's pose. Breathe in, breathe out. 
Breathe in. And breathe out. Wisdom pose. Take the hands back towards the heels. Send the hands out in front of you. Curl the toes. Downward facing dog. Take it up. Hips to the sky. Pedal it out. Work it around. On your next in-breath, come to the toes, bend the knees, look between the thumbs, float forward. Softly land the feet, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, mountain pose, reach. Breathe in, exhale, fold, breathe out. Chair pose, inhale. Hands to the heart center, twist to the right side. Chair twist, right side. Anchor and turn. Chair pose to the center. Take birdie pose, sweep the hands back. Staff pose, stand it up, right knee lifts. And you want to try to keep your knee in line with the hip and then try to keep the hips as evenly level as possible so it's hard to tell unless you have a mirror in front of you from here figure four right ankle on top of the left knee bring the hands to the heart center please and then from here twist to your left you can bring your right arm to the outside of the foot or you can keep your hands in the prayer position Back to the center. Staff pose, right knee. Birdie pose, right foot down. Chair pose, arms up. Breathe in. Hands to heart center. Prayer twist, left side. Now we anchor through the right elbow. Palms press, turn left. back to the center and then from here we're gonna stand up right our into our figure four left ankle on top of right and we squat it down once you get into that deep figure four either you bring your elbow to the outside of the foot or you drop the hand to the outside to lock in the sole of the foot turn right open up your wings maybe Bring it back to staff pose. Stand it up, left knee. Mountain pose, close out. Hands to the heart center. Dancer's pose, left arm sky. Take the right foot, bring the knees to touch. And when you're ready, take your second position dancer's pose. Back to Tadasana, right foot down, right arm up, left hand out, left foot. First position, second position. Left foot to the floor. Send both arms up above your head, please. Breathe in. Exhale, foot forward. Breathe out. Bottom here, split the feet. Peace sign, fingers to your toes. Capture the big toes. Halfway lift. And exhale, foot. 
chin to the chest, elbows to the side, shoulders away from the ears. Yogi squat. Come on down, sit into the heels, or maybe the heels are off the floor, that's totally up to you. And then from this position, I'd like us to take a little twist here. So left hand is gonna come down, right arm extends up, turn open. Back to the center, right hand down, left arm up, turn open, turning to the left. gonna bring the hands back to the heart center and then from here we're gonna come into gorilla so you place your hands on the floor lift your hips up towards the sky put the palms underneath drop the head low gorilla release the hands from underneath the feet Step back, downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet, move it around. Move it around. Okay, we're gonna still up back in our downward facing dog, please. Feet together, back edge of your mat. We're gonna move into a high plank. We're gonna take side plank with the left hand as your base. So heel swing to the left, and the right arm extends up. Reach up, contract. Push the hips up and forward. Wild thing, right foot comes up, we set it behind. Try to keep the outer edge of the left foot on the floor. Open up the chest, you'll feel some compression in your kidneys on the left side. Three-legged dog, let's come out of the pose. Right leg sky, and then round and dome. Knee to nose, step it through. Runner's lunge. From runner's lunge, we step forward. Left foot meets the right, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, breathe in. Birdie pose, takes the hands back. Staff pose, right knee. Hands to the hips. Kick out through the right foot. Extend the arms behind you, palms facing down. Birdie pose, keep the hands where they are, just plant the right foot, squat down. Arcing Tadasana takes you up and back, go back. Exhale, fold forward. Hands to the floor, halfway lift. Left foot back, runner's lunge. From here we come right into horizon lunge. Right arm extends forward, then comes behind, reach. Bring it back forward. Right arm is extending forward. We come into power lunge, extend the arms back. Inhale, high lunge. Straighten out through the right leg, twist to the right. Warrior two, we come up and around. Send the arms above the head, we reach. Left hand to the right wrist, stretch it up. Reverse your warrior, dance it back. Extended side angle. Left arm, extend it over. Star pose, we rise, reach. Got a squat, hands to the insides of the thighs, take a breath in, twist to the back of the mat. Inhale back to the center, twist to the right. Star pose, we stand it up. Come to warrior two, we breathe it out. One breath, we reverse the warrior. From here, standing half moon, right hand to the floor. Take your left foot off the mat. Reach up, kick through the left foot, reach up through the left hand. Find that half moon pose. Vertical splits, let's just drop the left hand down. This is kind of a touch and go here, just level off the hip. Left foot steps back, runner's lunge. Right foot back to down dog, breathe out. High plank, in breath. Low plank, out breath. 
Inhale, sweeps you up dog. Exhale, down dog. Feet together, back of your mat. Plank pose to side plank, right hand base, left arm up, heels to the right. Wild thing, left foot, which comes behind you. Open up the chest, try to keep the outer edge of the right leg really solid. Release, three-legged dog. Left leg sky. Rounded dome, left foot forward. Right out of the gate, left arm extends forward. Horizon lunge, we sweep it back. Bring it back forward. Power lunge, extend. High lunge, reach. Inhale, straighten out the left leg, turn to the left, twist it open. Warrior two, up and around. Arms above the skull, reach, right hand to left wrist, and reverse. Side angle. Star pose, rise. Arms up. Gotta squat. Right arm sweeps. Inhale, elbows up. Exhale, go right. Back to center. Unwind. Rewind left underneath the right. Inhale, elbows up. Go left. Coming back to the center. Star pose. Stand it up. Warrior two, front. Inhale to reverse. Balancing half moon. Take the weight into the left leg. Kick it up. Standing splits, let's level off the right hip. Kick up through the right leg. Gently step back, runner's lunge. Down dog, left foot comes back. Inhale, plank, forearm plank. Come on down onto the forearms here. And then from here, heels side to side. Work in the obliques. Back to the center, hold. And knees down, belly down, sphinx pose. Keep the arms where they are and pull the chest through. Pull the arms towards the hips with the chin. and child's pose, hips back. Bring the hands towards the heels, wisdom pose. Send the hands out in front of you. Downward facing dog, hips up. Pedal it out, move it around. Send the right leg up, move to half pigeon, right knee towards the right wrist. Settle the hips towards the floor. Really try to walk the left foot back so you can get the hips down. Square off to the front. And let's take into a little more depth, maybe bring the forearms down for Sleepy Pigeon. You could take the hands onto the floor and all the way out in front of you for even a deeper pose.
Okay, I'm going to ask you to come out of your hands. We're going to pull the left heel. If you know what mermaid is, you can go there. I just want you to stretch the front of your left hip. Get into the quadricep. You reach back, the heel comes in towards the tailbone. You just pull it in. Pull it in. I'm agnostic as to whether you want to square the shoulders or let the shoulders rotate. I'm more interested in just getting into that psoas muscle on the left side, which connects nicely to the quadricep. Okay, some of us, it's spring-loaded, so be careful when you release. And we're gonna keep the left toes curled underneath. And we take the right leg up, three-legged dog, open up the hip, stay here in three-legged split. Or if you wanna take one more flip of your dog, bring the foot over, push the hips up. Coming to down dog again. Re-neutralize by pedaling out. Left leg sky. Pigeon left side. And if you want to come up and go into the mermaid, option, of course, always options to level up and level down. Just encourage you to get a little quad stretch, that's all. Okay, remember that foot could be spring-loaded. Let's relax. Coming out of it, curling the right toes. And we take the right knee off the floor, three-legged dog. And again, you want to open up the hip, maybe, and then you could choose to flip the dog on this side. Take it up. Coming back over, dog pose, downward facing. Walk yourself about halfway up the mat. I'm going to ask you to sit down onto your butt. We're going to take seated forward fold, your standard seaward, seated forward fold. Let's extend the feet out in front of you. Butt bones nice and even into the floor. Core to spine, arms up. Breathe in. Exhale, fold. When you get down low, you can walk your heels forward a little bit and your hips back. Knees can be nice and bent for sure. You want to mitigate the pull. Many times we can pull much too hard, the body gets the signal that it's being damaged. And when it feels like you're pulling too hard, the muscles then begin to contract in order to protect the muscles. So we're always in the business of coaxing the body into a deeper set of relaxation responses in order for it to become more strengthened and more pliable. And release, coming up. Left foot in for Janyu Shirshasana. Janyu Shirshasana A is what I call this. We're gonna take the left foot, make sure it's into the inner thigh, arms extend up, and then take a fold forward. Take your chest to the right a little bit, so the left shoulder comes down, we're folding over the right leg. Okay, we're gonna release, keep your foot where it is, okay? From here, you're gonna bring your hands alongside the hips, and we're actually gonna lift our butt, and we're gonna sit our heel right between the butt cheeks, right at the perineum, so here we go. We lift up, and you walk your hips forward. You'll feel your heel right there, you know what I'm saying. Okay, now with your hips up nice and high, your hips up nice and high, it's gonna change the nature of the pose, because the hips are raised up. We take the arms up, and we do it again fold over the right leg. 
notice the difference. Release, coming up. Bring the hands back alongside the hips. Let's walk your butt off of the left heel. Boom. We extend out through the left. Draw the right foot in. Okay, this one, this is part one. Remember the sole on the inside of the left leg. Arms up, fold in. release. Moving into part two. Bring your hands alongside the hips. Raise the tail. Sit your heel right where you know it needs to go at the perineum. Once you get settled onto the heel, take the arms up and we fold over the left leg. next to the hips. Let's get the heel out. Send the feet back out in front and then from here just bump the knees up and down. Wide angle, fold. Bring the feet apart. Let's try to bring some evenness with the feet. So if you look on the linear line between the two heels, they are in one line. One is not canted out in front of the other. You're gonna bring the hands behind you, fingers spin away, bloom the chest up towards the sky. Keep the heels plugged in and the legs active. And now we'll fold in, belly to spine, hands walk out in front. And then for some, I would be in this group, I walk my hands to the feet. I'm gonna try to keep the uh, toes spinning upward, so the external rotation of the inner thighs. Keep the chin lifted to mitigate rounding of the back. Activate through the heels, keep flexing the toes, breathe yourself into a deeper expression. And release. We will move into a seated twist. Left foot comes in, right leg sweeps up and over. Try to create the space so your right butt cheek is not hitting the left heel. We will take our right arm, place it behind us next to the sacrum. Left arm extends up, breathe in. On the exhale, hook the left elbow to the outside of the right knee and then turn over towards the right side. Each breath gets you length, each exhale, gains you more rotation. And release, counter twist. We turn to the left, just dip the shoulders down, chaturanga style arms. And then from here, we're gonna go to the other side. Unwind, right comes in, left comes up and over. Make the space. Left hand back, right arm extends. Go left. Release, counter the twist. Take it down and to the right. From here, let's make our way onto our back. When you get onto your back, please hug the knees into your chest. Squeeze them in.
happy baby. Capture the outsides of the feet or the insides of the feet. Let's try to get the tailbone to come down onto the floor. Tuck the chin, you're looking down squarely towards the center line of the breastbone. Knees coming towards the insides of the armpits. Soup the Bodhikanasana, just guide the soles of the feet together and let the outer edges of your feet touch the floor. And like an open book, the knees just come apart. Hand to the belly and one hand to your heart muscle. Lay the hand on the chest, feel it rise and fall. to go and nowhere to be. Just like you're closing a book, bring the hands, draw them to the outsides of your thighs. Like a book, close the knees. Draw the knees in towards center line. And then roll to the right side, body, into the fetal position. Making your way up to a nice comfortable seated position. Bring the hands together. You can take a half lotus. You could always feel free to sit on your shins. Close the eyes down. Together, deep breath in. And exhale. Great work out there. Please open up your eyes. Thank you so much. Namaste. Really appreciate you checking in onto this YouTube channel. Once again, my name is Christian Allaire. Please, if you found value in the video, it really is helpful when you subscribe to the channel and when you give it the like. And of course, I love hearing the comments, so drop those down below. And for those that continue to support the channel by giving me Venmo donations, I really appreciate it. It helps me offset the cost of the cameras, the equipment, the streaming service, the music, etc., etc. Thank you so much for that. I will see you on the next video. Have a great day. Ciao.